Hello everyone and welcome to your channel TechWild. In this video, I will provide you the solution for this lab. Start the lab. Now log into the Looker using the incognito window. Ok now let's go back to the lab and see what we have to do. First of all we have to use the airports data set and from that we have to choose these options. So go back and click on explore. From this FAA click on airports. From this left section click on city. Click state. And after that click on count. Once you select all these three options, you will see them in this section. Again go back to the lab. Now we have to insert the limit of 10. In my case it is 10. For you it may be different. So choose from your lab. Simply type the limit. After this we have to make this airport count in the descending order. So click on it once. And you will see this downward arrow for the descending order. After that. Again focus on this left section and bring your mouse cursor on this facility type then click on filter. In this section type HE and you will see this heliport click on it. After that click run. Now see your results in the visualization. Click on the table. You will see this type of result. After this go to the explore actions. Click save as a look. For the title go back to the lab and copy the title. Then simply paste it and click on save. Now our look 1 is completed. Again go back to the lab. For the look 2 also we have to use the airport data set and from that we have to select count, state and facility types. Simply click on this looker. Open explore. From FAA section again open the airports. From this left section click on count. Then on the state and facility type. Go back to the lab. We have to put the limit of 10. Simply type 10. After this make the facility type in the descending order. Click on it once and you will see this downward arrow for the descending order. Click on this gear icon for the facility type. Click pivot. Now if you will pay attention you will see this type of arrow. Click on it. Then simply click run. Again see your result from the visualization. You will see this type of result. Now save this look. Click save as a look. For the title go back to the lab and copy this title. Then simply paste it and click on save. Now our second look is also created. We have to create the third look using the flights data set. So go back and click on looker. Go to explore. From this click on flights. Now from this left section open the aircraft origin. Click on city. Then state. Scroll down open the flight details. And from this click on the cancelled count. After this move upwards and open the flights. In this click on the count. So we selected four options city, state, cancelled count and the count. After this move to the top click on add table calculation. Now go back to the lab and copy this formula. Then simply paste it. For the format choose the percent. For decimals choose 3. For the name go back to the lab and copy this name. Then simply paste it and click on save. After this click on the gear icon for the flight count. Click filter. 
For this section, choose the greater than, then type 10,000. After this, you have to convert the flights cancelled in the descending order. So click on it once and you will see this downward arrow. Click on the gear icon for the cancelled count. Hide from visualization. Click on gear icon for the flight count. Hide from visualization. Now simply click on run. Now you can see the output from the visualization. Open the table. You will see this type of output. Click on explore actions. Save as a look. For the title again go back to the lab and copy this title. Then simply paste it and click on save. Now our third look is also created. Again we have to use the flights data set. Click on the looker. Explore. Then the flights. And from the left section click on flights. And in this you will find this origin and destination. Click on it. Now move to the top, click add, custom measure, now type average. You will see this option average distance, click on it. For the name go back to the lab and carefully copy this name then simply paste it and click on save. After this click on the gear icon for the average distance, click filter. For this section choose greater than and type 0. Convert this average distance in the ascending order. Click on it twice. You will see this upward arrow. Go back to the lab to check the next step. We have to insert a limit of 10. Simply type 10. Then click on run. Again check your output from the visualization. Go to the table and you will see this type of output. Click on explore actions. Save as a look. For the title go back to the lab and copy this title. Then simply paste it and click on save. Once it is done go back to the lab and check the progress for the first task. Ok now the task 1 is completed. For the task 2, open the flights data set, go back, click on the looker, go to explore, then click on flights. Now from this left section, open the aircraft origin, then click on city, state, and then the code. Now go to the bottom and open the flights. In this section click on the count. Now set a limit of 10. Then click on run. After this open explore actions and click on merge results. It will take few seconds to compile the data. Now open the airports. From the left panel click on state. Then the city then code you have to select these three options state city code after that bring your mouse cursor to this control tower and click on filter bring your mouse cursor to this and click on filter for joint use also click on filter then set the limit to 10 and click on run After this click save. Again click on run. After this open the visualization and choose the bar. You will see this type of result. Again open the explore actions. Save to dashboard. For the title go back to the lab. And carefully copy this title. Then simply paste it. We have to create a new dashboard, so go back to the lab and copy the name for the dashboard. Then click on new dashboard, paste the name, click OK. 
then simply click save to dashboard after this you can go back to the lab and check the progress for this task now for the third task go back click on looker open the folders my folder open the first one in a new tab add to dashboard click on shared click on this then save to dashboard now we have to repeat the same process for all of these three open the second one in the new tab add to dashboard click on shared choose this option then save to dashboard open the third one in a new tab add to the dashboard shared choose this option save to dashboard open the fourth one in a new tab add to dashboard shared choose this option and save to dashboard after this you can simply go back to the lab and check the progress for last task congratulations you have successfully completed this lab and if this video solution was helpful please consider subscribing it really helps me a lot for the next time stay safe stay healthy